It's a bit chilly today um, in my neck of the woods, so I apologize for the, the coat, but I just had to share something really cool with you. When you think of the blessed life, what comes to mind? Perhaps it is living a life of riches or mental health or prosperity in every level. And I believe that is part of the blessed life. But I believe one of the biggest ways to reveal you are blessed is when we're insulted and the way that we respond is the most blessed life. The insult, what it does is it just sets us up to look at God and say, God, how do you, how, how do I see this? And what he'll do is he'll lift up your face and say, look at me, look at me. I am the greatest blessing. And that's why you don't have to react to that insult. Instead, use this moment to just be in awe of my love for you and even for them. And it's not being fake and how witty we are or being doing it out of spite to kill with kindness, but it's truly to respond to the goodness of God. And as we respond to him in the middle of the insult, what comes forth is just this beautiful knowing that we get to know God. We get to know God. And upon that knowing, what a blessed life. From there, you can't help but not live a life of excellence. From that place, you can't help but live a life of being unoffendable. From that place, you can't help but be content, whether you have much or have little. From that place of being blessed, you give even when it looks like you can't give. Um, that's just the blessed life is knowing him. And from knowing him, truly knowing him, truly knowing that he is the God, he is the miraculous. He is like, if you want to know what a, the greatest miracle is, it's knowing Jesus. Like what? And if we really get a concept of knowing him, our lives are transformed into the likeness of Christ. See, when we're obedient to God, that in of itself is a miracle because that's grace to be able to obey. See, grace isn't given for us to not obey. The grace of God is given to us to empower us to not just live according to the law, but to even live above the law where we aren't just not murdering, <laughs> But we have a heart desire to have compassion for those who are against us because we know the one who's for us. And because he's for us, we want them to know who's for them. That's the beauty of knowing God. It, it, it isn't about getting rid of people out of your life because they aren't they're not doing what you're doing or they're not like-minded. It's okay. If I don't do life with you, I want you to know that I'm still going to continue to pray for you and pray that you would just know God for who he really is, that you would know that he is the greatest miracle, that he's the greatest blessing. When you live from that place, you can't help but live a life of humility. You don't have to like constantly fight pride you literally, in awe and wonder of him, pride doesn't even have a chance. <laughs> See, what happens sometimes is when we know we're living the blessed life and we know that we're living a life of obedience, it can become where we get prideful that we obeyed or that we had great faith. But truly, if we get to the place of knowing that it is by the grace of God, that I have faith. It is by the grace of God that I get to know God. It's by the grace of God that I got to accept salvation. That is where you live a life of on wonder. That's where you live a life. That's where I get to live a life of responding to him instead of reacting. One of the biggest things that I can take away from all of this is that when I have forgotten how blessed I am to know God, 
the Holy Spirit quickens me to remember very quickly when I start to complain in my mind or I start reacting to people instead of responding to God. It is just my notification to get back into remembrance of the presence of God that is so loving and so kind and so beautiful and so generous. So I just want to leave that with you today. The biggest miracle is knowing God. Thank you so much for liking or even disliking this video and giving me your feedback. Your feedback is so important to me. I also want to say thank you again for joining me on Triumphant Victorious Reminders with Teresa Ann. This is the place where we get to see Christ as our triumphant victory so we can see with heavenly wit to see mission fields in the midst of the battlefields.